Hello, thank you for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got a beer I've been wanting to try for a few years actually, I never got around to it. I mean, I've done all bar this beer in 2020, of September 2020. Went through a hell of a lot of Oktoberfest beers then, but this one eluded me. Um, it's the Augustina Oktoberfest beer. Lovely looking label there at the festival itself, uh, for sure. Um, remember looking at this um, when we done Good Beer Live recently. They had live cameras at the festival at the time um, back in September, of course. And uh, yeah, so Oktoberfest beer. Um, this is uh, classing this as a fest beer, and this one is clocking in at six point three percent ABV. So these guys, are, of course, are out of Munich in Germany, in Bavaria. Uh, so 6.3, this is a nice 500ml bottle, and finally we get to review it, so um, here we go, um, there's the uh, the crown, I don't know if that's going to focus or what the deal is there, but there's the crown, kind of a, a little bit of smoke on the opening, nothing, nothing too crazy there. So we're going to go into um, just a normal sort of pint glass, really, just uh, for this one. A bit of a glug. Let's try and... Ah, that's what we want, just to keep forgetting I'm not in camera when I'm pouring. It's more for the aromatics, really, just to try and mix that up slightly. So we've got a finger and a half of intentional white head there really quite tightly packed bubbles on that kind of aggressive pour there's a light carbonation running up through the beer nice strawy color clear as you'd expect it really to be and there's a hair there's a hair on my noose um there's a hair on the outside of the glass fortunately so i just cleaned it well, there you go is what it is um so yeah nice looking beer in the glass, so aroma. Yeah, kind of like straw. It's not quite, it's, it's a, there's a slight um, whiff of lemon there. Give it more of a swirl. The head's running down nicely now to a one, not even a one finger, just below a one finger head. Quite subdued, um, kind of a white bread malt. Subdued that lemon kind of whiff. Let's give it a try, see what's on on the taste. So cheers and prost. Now, out of all the Oktoberfest beers I've had, I haven't. There's one or two I haven't had this this time round. Um, I haven't had the um, what is it? I haven't had. Oh, what one was it? The blue label one. It's the actual the bottles behind me from a few years ago. Well, what's it called? I haven't had the low and brow this year. That's the one. That was back in 2015, my least favourite. So I didn't actually go for that this year. Um, this is really quite sweet. Um, I, I, I'm finding. I mean, it's leaving a lovely lacing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Where, where the, the beer, the part of the beer I've had, it's just hanging around. That is good. Um, so conditioning is quality, as you'd really, you know, you expect Augustina, I mean, they're, they're just great anyway. But yeah, this, this uh, Fest beer is probably one of the sweeter ones I've had before. Um, and this is one, obviously, one of the official uh, big six, if you like, for, for the actual festival itself. Um, so they can proudly call themselves, it's an Oktoberfest beer. Um, 
but yeah, this is one of the more sweeter side of, of um, Oktoberfest or Fest beers that I've had. That I've had. So straight away, very clean. Nice bit of carbonation on the palate, just to let you know it's a lager. Um, and it kind of draws down into this kind of lightly lemon kind of quality. There is a little bit of that kind of bready. Um, there's a slight white bread kind of, I wouldn't say cracker. It's not that kind of malt forward. It's more sweet than anything else. Very low bitterness from the hops for sure. So perhaps that's what it is. I don't know if there's a slight kind of imbalance. Um, it's sweet, but I will say this, I had, a, I will let you know, I've got to tell you, that I've actually had a, a bottle of this already this year. I actually bought two when I purchased them um, back in sort of early October, mid-October, September time, sorry. Um, and I believe the first one I had was sweeter than this. This isn't coming across quite so sweet, but it is very sweet for the style of beer. I mean, you might drink and think, what's he talking about? It's not, you know. But for for compared to the others, this is the more sweeter of, of, of the bunch I've tried anyway, on my palate. But certainly that, that, that first bottle I had was a little bit sweeter than this even. So whether it's a bit of time, I don't know if that, that whatever that is. I, I'm not a brewer or anything like that. Maybe if you know, let me know. Um, but that seems to have dulled down slightly. Um, still present, but it's not quite as... Um, <sighs> shocking on the palate as I was remember before um, there is a bit of writing but it's, it's in German so I can't really uh, comment on what it says on untapped there um, and, uh, and again on the bottle it's um, it's just a front label bottle there's nothing on the back it's just a, a plain Jane one and the neck one and done. Um, Special beer, uh, Munich beer, Hopfen. Very little information. Um, obviously, uh, Augustina have been around. Uh, since 1328 so they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're getting on a bit to be fair um, and that's it there's no other information apart from the date is the best before January of 2023 which to me that seems very very short for a lager or an Oktoberfest beer hmm that, that is really interesting Considering the one I've just reviewed is July of 2023, I wonder if it is last year's stock. You're not going to give a lager a short date like that, four months. Huh. Let me just check the other, because I've still got the other bottle down here. Let's have a look. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. And this one was sweeter than that one. But it's got the same dates, so that, that's intriguing. My recycling bag that needs to go out. Having said that, it's really fantastic to try this one. It's probably the hardest one to get hold of in the UK. It's kind of one of them, it, it sells really quickly. Once you see it, you've, you've got days to buy it, and then it's gone. Um, purchase mine at Trembling Madness, House of Trembling Madness, if you like, online. Like most people, or most reviewers, most people know who they are. Um, if you don't know who they are, just do a quick search, House of Trembling Madness, and it will come to an online store. And they, they update their, their their web shop like really quickly as, as well. So... Um, um, and they're very, very efficient. I've been very fortunate enough to actually visit 
you know the place uh, about three or four years ago just before the pandemic hit and stuff like that um but this is okay i mean it's it's probably not my favorite oktoberfest official oktoberfest beer um it's not a bad beer or anything like that it's just not my favorite it, 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 and it was kind of that build up oh everyone's saying this is the one this is the best one blah 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 I've heard bits and pieces people saying what they think about it. Like, oh really I can, and then you try and it's like mm. it's not quite where i wanted it to be if you know what i mean um having said that as i say it's still really nice to try It's still decent, it's still a lovely lager, but compared to some of the others, it's um, it's not quite there. So, having said that, let me know what you think. This is the 2022 edition of Augustina Oktoberfest beer. It's fest beer. There we go. And it's, you can see the date. It's 0123. So, yeah. Lovely label. But yeah, let me know if you've had this one before. Um, wh why was one bottle sweeter than the other? If you're a brewer or anything like that. This one was a bit more, less sweet, but still fairly sweet for, for a fest beer style, in my opinion. So um, anyway, let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. And uh, I've got one more fest beer, I think, to go. And then that, that'll probably be it for this year. So um, thank you for watching. You all take care. See you on the next one. Cheers.